Hi guys, Neil Tappin here from Golf Monthly and welcome to the uh, first of a three part vlog. Today I'm going to play 54 holes, so three rounds of golf on three different golf courses. It's seven o'clock in the morning and behind me is Warpleston Golf Club. Uh, we're playing here, then we go on to West Hill Golf Club and then on to Woking. So three of our top 100 golf courses, myself, Mike Harris, uh, Rob Smith, Jez Elwood, all from Golf Monthly are going to play three different formats through the day starting with a straight up stable food uh, around Warpleston. The other thing to say is the guys at Sketches have very kindly kitted us out with, uh, with clothes and shoes. So despite playing 54 holes, I'm wearing a brand new pair of shoes on the first tee. Let's hope it goes well, because otherwise it could be uh, slightly painful. We'll see how the, the, the clothes perform. Uh, let's get out onto the golf course, see how we get on. Um, okay, hello everyone. Uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity to introduce this man, Rob Smith. Good morning. Um, Rob, start by telling everyone something about yourself. Uh, well, I've been involved with Golf Monthly for 10 or 12 years now, uh, mainly on the golf course side, course rankings and travel writing. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have played virtually all of the top 100, most of the next 100. Uh, so I'm privileged enough to play good courses all the time. Yeah, Rob plays more golf than Vijay Singh, so um, however he's not quite as good as Vijay, as not you're going to find out I'm sure at some point today. Not quite as good as him, no. Rob, if you could hit one of your comedy bad shots on camera that would be much appreciated. It will, it will certainly happen, it's guaranteed. <laughs> um, okay Rob, so before I, we'll, we'll talk about the three W's at various different points, yep. but before we talk about any of that, because we're only on hole two, yep. what's the best golf course you've ever played? Uh, well there isn't one because we are blessed with so that many. That is such a cop-out answer, come on, there, surely care. there's a best golf course you've ever played. Uh, if you could only ever play, if you had one round of golf left to play, where would it be? Tandridge. Okay, well that's, okay, it's a good golf course, but what's the best <laughs> golf course you've ever played? Well, Sunningdale. A day at Sunningdale with two courses is an absolute perder. That's quite a good answer. Uh, outside the UK? In the uh, US? In the US, I've not played many of the big boys. Torrey Pines was very good. Um, I think further afield, I was lucky enough to play Cape Kidnappers last year. That is spectacular. Um, okay, so back to here. So Warplesden, West Hill, Woking, where do they sit roughly on our top 100? Well, they're all, you know, they, they, they vie for contenders from time to time. Uh, they all have their great fans and their slight detractors as well. It's going to be a great exercise for the three of us, four of us today, to see all three of them and work out what we think. That's a very good point. So, um... Try and play. Okay, so we've just had to let a group through. Had to cut our conversation short. Rob's about to play his, uh, his second shot into the third. I'm going to just let you watch this backwards. Oh, tree, tree action and back to us. Um, so question is for you, what's the best golf course you've ever played? Uh, hit the pause button, then leave a comment below. Let us know what the best golf course you've ever played is, both in the UK and outside of the UK. We're really interested. Obviously, Rob and Jez in particular have played a hell of a lot of golf courses all over the world. Both of them have played all of our top uh, 100 golf courses so um, be really interested to see what you think and how it, it, it ranks in comparison to what those two have played uh, so hit the pause button leave a comment below Okay everyone, so 11 holes in, it is 9.53 a.m. Uh, Mike, what are the scores on the doors? So at the turn, um, Jez 
bring up the rear on 11, uh, myself on 13, Rob 14, and you tappers leading on 15. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. Um, and my general thoughts on, not on how good the golf course is, because we'll get onto that later, yep. maybe towards the end, but on the condition of the golf course, because you know, if I just turn around, you'll see just how firm and fast and bouncy the golf course is looking. Sadly, we don't get them looking like this in this country very often. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Mike? What do you think? It's great. I love it when um, inland courses, seaside courses go brown, uh, firm bouncy in the summer. It's a different type of golf you have to play. You have to play, uh, you know, allow for the run out on the ball. Um, means you can bump and run or as you did at the ninth hole having hit about <laughs> a 350 yard drive you then putted your second going 55 yard putt but you can do that and it just allows you to play different shots it's great the uh, the greens are receptive today so you can land it if you hit a good shot it'll check up um, equally you can land it short and it'll run up uh, but the greens are super quick today I think that's probably behind the uh, modest scoring slightly say, lack of pointage at this point it's like you're thinking 10 yards out please stop please stop and it's sort of running uh, a good good while past but no it's in of course in fantastic condition this is British inland golf at its very very best today it reminds me of uh, my junior days playing golf it just feels like we don't get uh, golf courses like this anymore. no quick question like yes. what, what shoes are you wearing which I ones I have the Go down. Golf Elite v3 on today uh, a nice white spikeless model very super comfy uh we How did a doing? shoot yeah. yeah really good we did a shoe test out in portugal looking at best spikeless shoes uh, and these were one of the top performers they are so comfortable and uh, under 100 pounds they are incredible value okay so the final member of the four ball is jez jez elwood you may uh recognize jez from many of his rules videos with the gray hair, the gray hair such as uh, new rules explained if you haven't seen it, do take a look. Uh, Jez, you've gone for a trolley today. Probably a wise have. decision. 54 holes. Um, at my age, without a trolley would probably be um, folly, I would think. <laughs> okay, so Jez, you've played... How many How many of the top 100 have you played? Uh, roughly 100. 100, exactly. 100, yeah. So who better place than to tell us where Warpleston sits? Where does it sit, both in terms of the list, but also your appreciation of it? Uh, Lorpeston is the one of the three W's that I've played the least. In fact, this is my first mid-summer game here. Um, some people would have this as the top one. Some people would have Woking. Some people would have West Hill. I think... That you're, you're going to, heading towards a politician's answer here, Jeff. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you're going to ask me, and it possibly is because it's the one I've played the most, I would have West Hill as my favourite. Um, I think it's majestic throughout West Hill. Walkerston, very, very good. Woking, very, very good. I mean, it's, it's splitting hairs, really. That's the problem. Yeah, and, and Woking, sorry, Warpleston and West Hill are, at one point, they're about 100 yards away from each other. Yeah. So they're very, very close to each other. And you could interchange holes, couldn't you, quite easily. And you wouldn't realise that you'd swapped into a different golf no, course. No, you could do that. Um, but uh, I think people like different things. A lot of uh, people who are really into the architecture rank Woking as the best. Why is that? I, I think it's something to do with its original history and um, Let's put the, bag down. The, the architecture that was employed there. But I think I've always thought it would probably be third in my, my list of the three, but we're all looking for different things, aren't we? Well, you'll be able to, well, I'll, we'll come back to Jez at the, end yeah. of the, uh, at the end of this epic day and find out where it sits. Um, and quick word on the condition of the golf course. It's excellent, isn't it? I mean, it's... Um, I'll show you the green behind us. Partly. Um, dried out the fairways aren't they very linksy but there's still a bit of grass green grass on them and the greens are just the wrong side of slick I would say indeed they are the wrong side of slick they've, they've caught us out quite a lot hence why yeah. you're going to find out just how how meagre I'd say the scoring is at the end of this yeah well let's not go into the scoring too much I've not come armed with my A game today and <laughs> I wouldn't want to be made to look a fool on, on a video really <laughs> okay on we go <laughs>
Okay, end of round one, and the scores were, Rob, what Three. were the scores? Uh, well, I think I just sneaked it with a par on the last for 32 points from who was second, Neil? Yeah, so I had 31 with a bogey at the last. Uh, Mike was 28 and Jez, 26. sadly, 26 points. Yeah. Uh, so that's how we stand after round one. Uh, Rob, how are you feeling? So we, we're one round into the day. My calorie counter is saying I've done 700 calories so far. Well, I've had no intake at all yet apart from water, so I'm looking forward to the spot of breakfast now. It's nearly 11.30 in the morning. Surprisingly fresh and fit considering it is beltingly hot day, um, but I think buoyed up by the fact that I played okay and of course the course itself is sensational. It's just a wonderful place to play. For you, you played really well. Oh, that's very kind of you to say so. Yes, I thought actually you're spot on. For me, I played very well. <laughs> How are the shoes? Uh, shoes are lovely. I think they look good, they feel good. Um, I'm a, it's the first time I've used Skechers. Very pleased with them. And give the golf course a score out of 10? Oh, Ooh, I, I never give anything it? 10 out of 10, oh, so I'll go. give it 9 out of 10. It's presented in immaculate condition, greens are super fast, uh, no complaints about it at all, it's just a super golf course. So there you have it, end of uh, vlog number one. Uh, Rob takes the honours, I came second, Mike third, Jess fourth. There we go.